Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of multi story skill structure analysis and design using a start pro program. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make multi story 3D model in start pro. So I have completed only one story and I have this is five story building. So I have to copy this story to the other floor to do go to here view from Z plus and take this beam cursor and select this way all the structure and go to here transitional repeat in this command and select y i have to go to along y direction and my floor height is 3.3 meter and i have also created this floor height as 3.3 now click the step more 4 i have a 1 so i have to go more 4 story then click ok now you can see this building is now 5 story 1 2 3 4 5 and now if you click here this display whole structure and click this rendered view now you can see all member has been copied except my floor because I have used to select my member this beam cursor but to select slab I have to use this plate cursor so go to here this V from Z again take this plate cursor select this way all the floor slab will be selected go to this transitional repeat command same way Y this is 3.3 and this will be also four number of steps okay and now go to have this whole structure and rendered view now you can see everything is okay now and now when i have completed my this full story model and i have another thing here as per my drawing you can see i have a star room here so to draw a star room go to here this view from z select this top floor right click new view okay go to this isometric view and now select this one this one this one this one this one this one so this will be copied to the top and now go to here transitional repeat this is y and i have as per my drawing 2.4 meter so 2.4 meter just click number of step one click okay done now you can see it is copy so if i go to here top view and i can select this way this portion only right click new view okay go to this isometric view and now take this add beam and join this four corners okay and now i have a slab here also so take this add for nodal plate draw here okay now select this slab go to here general Ge geometry general from here select this thickness select this one assign yes and now go to here display whole structure so go to here so from the top i can take this this section and this section right click new ok go to this 3d view and now you can check which column has been assigned for so here for my this column i have to assign this one so select this one and this one assign ok click here this one so for the last one i have to define this three select this one this one assign yes ok now check from here symbol and label structure full structure now you can see nothing is else now and if I go to here this whole structure and now I can see and also going to this rendered view I can see here clearly my beam slab and everything has been drawn here similar way go to this top view select right click new view ok ok and I have to draw a beam here which is my sub beam this one I have my sub beam this 6 select this one assign ok and also go to spec select this one start mp assign i'm releasing moment assign assign ok done now oh here and from here you check the load here from here go to here this load case and go to dead load so i have not counted the cell point yet so when my model uh, creation is done now go to here add a dead load add 
and cell point minus 1 add close and when you have whole model here this way whole model select this one and click here assign to view so i have to count it cell point for all these members then assign yes okay so my cell point is counted and the important thing is here i have defined this load with the flow range but my this load has been copied to the all floor but my this load is in only one floor because i have set the range to 3.3 .3, but my building height is right now here my 16.5 so i can go up to this i have here 18.9 so i have to change this to 18.9 change close same way go to this live load this is 18.9 change close okay the load change is done now i have to assign support i have not assign any support yet go to here from this left side support then create and i have pin type of support here add you have if you have fixed type of support then you have to add use fixed type of support and the support type will be dependent on your structure type and also this is dependent on the on the workmanship available in your country if you have very updated workmanship then you can use fixed support and for high rise structure you can use fixed support but if you cannot practically achieve the fixed fixity then it will be uh, difficult so uh, i cannot assure about the fixity that's why i am uh, defining this as a pin support so this is my pin support take this node cursor select all the node at this bottom and assign yes and check the 3d model now now you can see my whole model comp creation is done and also i have counted my cell point and i have assign my load and i have changed the load and now for example i have here all the floor height similar so all is 3.3 meter but if you have any different floor height say this this floor this level should be 3.6 meter how you can change that you can do that first you have to make this model as per uniform floor height and then if you have different floor height then you can change that uh, by selecting this take node cursor select this way all the above node right click move say you have this is 3.6 i have right now 3.3 so i have to move this upper portion to y direction 0.3 now okay yes now if you double click on this member you can see this is 3.6 to double click on this this is 3.3 and this law level is also 3.3 so same way if you want to change this lower floor you can select this way then right click and by moving you can change the story height so this way you can also change the story height and this is the way of making multi storied structure from the one story so thanks for watching my this video see you in the next video